Go to class, this is the birdie tutorial. So I'm just gonna show you how to uh, make the birdie animation run it. I'm gonna assume that you know the basics, that you know that the properties tab is here, the libraries tab is here, that you know that the stage is here, um, and you know where your tools and your timeline are. Just a quick reminder that animate is like a flipbook, and up here, we have our like flipbook pages, so page one, page two, page three, page four, except we don't call them pages, we call them frames. Okay, so that is how animate works. We flip through the frames to kind of show movement. Anyway, the birdie tutorial. So the first thing it asks you to do is to go to your library uh, panel. So that's up here, it says library. Um, if you don't have it, if you can't find it, then you can go to window here and click library, and that will bring it up, okay? So in the library area here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go new symbol. So this is going to let me make a symbol that I can then bring on to the timeline and into the stage. Symbols are really useful because they let us uh, make things inside them and then um, we don't have to like keep repeating it. The symbol can just keep looping itself. Um, so in our case, we want the wings to go up and down but we don't want to have to keep drawing the bird with the wings up, wings down, wings up, wings down, wings up, wings down. We can just draw it with the wings up once and the wings down once and it can keep looping. So what I'm going to name my symbol is I'm going to name it birdie. And you'll notice that I've got on graphic. I know the um, tutorial, the written one says movie clip. But the only difference between a movie clip and a graphic really is that the graphic lets you see the movement on the stage. So I, I always use graphic. I'm going to click OK. So now I'm in my birdie symbol. You notice here it is here. See how it says birdie? That's telling me that I'm inside the birdie symbol. I can actually go back to the stage if I want to by clicking on scene one. And see that takes me back to the stage. And if I want to get back into my birdie layer, I need to make sure I'm clicked on it here. And I can double click on it here. Okay. So it's an important thing to understand that there's a difference between being on your main scene, your main stage, and being inside your birdie symbol. So I'm gonna make um, for myself uh, a quick bird. Um, it's gonna be pretty ugly, but that's okay, because um, I don't have time to make it nice. I'm just gonna turn object drawing mode on here so that I can all my symbols can be separate from each other. And I'm gonna make myself, let's make a little body for my bird. There we go. Oh, that looks pretty good. I'm just gonna bring that into the center. Um, and then I'll use my tool again, my mobile tool, to make a head for it. And then my wing is going to look kind of like that. And I'll just sort of use my free transform tool to click it and bring it into place about there. I'm going to move the origin down to there so that when I rotate it, there we go. That's what my bird's going to look like with the wings up. If I really wanted to, I could, you know, I could add some more blemishes to it. Um, I don't really have time, but hey, there we go. There's my bird. Majestic. So what I'm going to do is I want to have it with the wings up and wings down. And I want it to run for about 12 frames. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to where I think frame 12 is. Right click and go insert frame. So there you go. Now my bird runs for 12 frames. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can tell which frame you're on, by the way. It says down here. See how there it says 12? I'm in frame 12 frame 5, etc. So I want frames 1 to 6 to be in with the wings up and 7 to 12 to be with the wings down. So what I'm going to do is on frame 7 I want it to change and when I want my animation to change I right click and I go insert keyframe. So now I've got one to frame 1 of keyframe and frames out to 6 and a new keyframe on uh, frame 7 that goes out to 12. Okay, so on um, number seven, I'm going to use my free transform tool again, um, and I'm going to just hold out over here and rotate that down. So now one to six looks like that, and seven to 12 looks like that. Now yours might not work exactly the same as mine. You, if you've made fancy wings, you might have to sort of like delete them or, or you might um, want to use the modified tools or something like that. I actually might, um, no, that's okay. That's fine, I'm fine with that. So one to six, seven to 12. 
So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go back to scene one, so you can see there's nothing on there because I haven't actually put my birdie on the on the stage yet. I'm going to go to my library up here, and there's my bird. I'm going to drag him down, click and hold and drag him down, let go into the stage. So now my bird is on the stage. And I can actually um, edit him on the stage. I could use the free transform tool, maybe make it a little smaller. I think he's a little big. There we go. And that's him. Okay. Now, if I were to press enter to run my animation, nothing's actually going to happen yet. Because you remember how he had his wings up from frame 1 to 6 and then down from 7 to 12? That was inside the symbol. But on my actual timeline in my scene, I've actually only got one frame. So I actually probably want it to run. I want my whole animation to run, let's say, 5 seconds. So I'm going to grab my scroll across to 5 seconds there, and I'm going to go insert frame. So now, there we go. He runs for 5 seconds. And if I were to press enter now, it would just skip every six frames. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, so my birdie can fly. So frame one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that works. That's great. Um, I would quite like it though if my birdie could fly across the scene as well. But before I do that, you notice it says layer 1 here, and that, that doesn't really tell me much. What's layer 1? Well, it's got bird on it, so I probably want to call it birdie. So I'm going to double click on layer 1. I'm just going to rename this birdie. Now, layers work exactly the same in uh, Animate as they work in Photoshop. A top layer will appear above another layer. So I want my birdie to move across the screen. I want him to actually, uh, if I can click him and drag him out, I want him to be outside the scene, come in, fly across, and fly out the other side again. So what I can do is I can click and drag and put them there, and I'm going to add something called a motion tween. A tween is just short for in-betweening. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it I want him to start here and finish here. So I right-click up here on the timeline and go create motion tween. See how it's gone blue? That tells me it's a motion tween. So I'm going to make sure I'm on frame one, and I want him to be about here on frame one. And then I'm going to go all the way to my last frame on frame 120. And I'm going to drag him to where I want him to be at the end. So I want him to be about there. And what it's going to do is it's going to tween. It's going to fill in the in-between uh, frames to figure out where he should go. So you see how it's figuring out the in-between? And if I hit enter, there you go. He's going to fly across my scene like that. Now, tweens are quite cool because they do the in-between stuff. Um, they can also, you can also edit them. So if I go to like the middle, if I go around around two and a half sort of seconds, and I wanted them to like come up in the middle and then go back down, see how it's changing that blue line? That blue line is the path he's going to follow. So now if I played it, he'd go up, and then he would come back down. And you can do lots of stuff in there. So if I went back to that middle frame, See how it's added as keyframe? I can even transform it and things like that. So if I wanted to, I could say, hey, I actually want him to be sort of up by there. And at the the end, I want him to be, if I click on the oh, click on last frame, I want him to be facing downwards. It'll figure out the in-between stuff for that too. So he's going to sort of fly up, and he's going to lean downwards again. So tweening is quite cool. The last thing it does, I think, it asks you to make um, a tree. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on this button here. It says New Layer. I'm going to click that. Um, and I'm going to drag it down because I want him to fly in front of the tree. I'm just going to double click on it, rename it, name it Tree. And then I'm going to draw myself a tree. I'm going to use this tool here, the rectangle tool. I want, um, I want the tree to trunk to be brown, and I don't really want an outline. So over here, this one up here is transparent. My tree trunk is going to be like that. There we go. And then for the top of my tree, I'm going to use the oval tool, fill color, make it a sort of foresty green. Maybe sort of make it like that. There we go. What a beautiful tree. So now I've got my tree and my bird. If I hit, um, if I go, make sure I'm on frame one. Now he's got a tree to fly in front of. That's a birdie tutorial. I know it was a little fast, uh, but hopefully you can follow along with what I did to create that. Um, if you finish it up, you can try things like grabbing this, these parts in your tween, you can bend them, stuff like that. You can try messing with your birdie in different times to 
make him do different things and stuff like that at different parts. So he sort of flies up. Then I really, by then, I want him to fly down. There's lots of stuff you can do with this kind of thing. Okay, so good luck playing with that. Um, see how you go.